Hey guys, Cosmos here from Dolly Games and here we are in our lovely cloud city and we're gonna be doing some cloud adventures using this image's cloud adventure strategy with buying with uh, Balance the magic dice. So uh, I think I'm set the way I am, uh, just gonna start it out over here. Cloud adventures, here we go. This is like a little bit risky for me because of course I always try not to waste balance but with the strategy, strategy the way it is set up is uh, going uh, with um, doing it in such a way that of course you get your balance back. Uh, at least the same amount, sometimes you could lose a little bit but um, otherwise uh, you can also gain more. So um, doing a bunch of times, let's say it should be break even, but at the same time you get tons more rewards and it's that part that uh, the strategy is all about. So we start over here, there are 60 boxes as this image said. So thanks again to him for the strategy outline. And here we got the magic dice and we got the common dice and the idea is pretty much to almost not spend this common dice as much as possible and go with rolls of 6 according to Dizzy with the magic dice but I will try to f land on a boss if it's if I can get it done in a 5 or let's say but at least for sure for the start 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's a trap and uh, there is no bosses around so I'm gonna use the magic dice and go 6 straight alright fell in a trap fine one two three four five six actually falls on a boss so I'm gonna add magic dice for 180 and we're gonna spend 900 in total so that's 180 we're gonna go six on the boss and the bosses are usually stronger uh, than me so I'm gonna directly get assistance from um, I think well let's just pick the first one Gargamel First one in the list, it's the strongest one, so should be able to do it. Now we can watch it as well. It's got five star Hercules on, so pretty much um, very close to gold. He will win, so um, but I I still want to watch the difference. Of course, the mobs are not hurting him much at all. I just let's just see a couple of boss attacks. Just thirty five thousand from the boss. That's a stronger attack, Rain of Fire cleans up the house, leaving the Frost Freeze alone, who is hitting really hard. Of course with Gargamel he heals as well, uh, so it's all good. And one more attack, let's see, Lightning, so the basic attack 170 takes out uh, pretty much one life and now of course in in uh, in the self mode awaken triton strong attack taking out another life so yeah they can't beat him for sure one life left so next one I'll skip it but it was good to watch one that is if I fall on the boss, very nice, almost 1 million damage taking out both freeze. And that alone should give me good rewards from the boss, so I'm looking forward to that. So we got 15 crystal shards, 30 waters which is good, 3 moonlights and 3 magics. So that's awesome, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's also there's nothing interesting here, although I also want to try to land on this chest. So we're going to do one more magic dice. We're going to add another 180 and go 6. Alright, that gets us into a regular challenge which I can do myself. Oh, the, the half-life comes from... Thanks. And the half-life comes from uh, the trap, of course. No problem. Two more waves. The lag lately has been quite terrible. Here 
we go that second wave. And now we can see the, the earnings from the previous boss. The Golden Holy Water 30 is quite nice for refining the equipment. And you can see it's lagging actually a lot so mobs are dying even we don't see the, the hit itself. So, but the battle itself here is not important, it's just uh, to show the strategy, of course, of passing the cloud and let's, uh, and of course, seeing the rewards, that's what we're looking for. And here we got one, two, three, four. A four would land us on this chest, a six would land us over here, and, and uh, at the end, um, you need to roll some, some of the common dice as well. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll a common dice now. Five, that lands us over here. 5 is good though, 5 is good, I wish it was 4, but 5 is good, because with common dice as well, uh, you can buy basically, you can have in total 6 magic dice I think, including the one you get, um, and that gets you, um, no, the, the magic dice gets you 60 and you need 100, I think that that's what it was, and the, uh, the, the remaining, no, I'm mixing everything up. Never mind the, the numbers, basically with the magic dice you, you can get only so far and just the last bits uh, you need to do with the common dice anyway so of course you need to uh, you need to get a little bit lucky and roll high and now I rolled 5 which was very good. And here um, I have a choice to continue with magic dice or to do one more common dice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a common one just in case I get lucky to, to land on the boss. And it worked, which is awesome. So I'm gonna do friend assist here on Garg. Insufficient war flags. No, no, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. So let's try to challenge him ourselves. And uh, he is Howling Reaper, so I guess that's wind. It's like the worst I could have. Let's see if we can make it. Although it's gonna be very tough. If he's indeed the wind, I'm really weak on the wind resist. You see already half of my life is gone. Can only hope for some healing. There it is. So as long as the Triton stays alive, I have some hope. Oh, strong area. Don't kill the healer, don't kill the healer. I could maybe make it. I have a heal rune ready, so I'm gonna go for that. Don't die, Triton, stay alive. I'm gonna put up a shield. Not much left, so it's looking good. Although now it's just me and him. And lag, of course. Here comes the ultimate Delphic Destroyer. Come on! Just a little bit left. Awesome. Didn't think I'd beat him, but it's good. So that's done. And that gets us another 30 Holy Waters, 3-3 three, three of Moonlights and Glints and 15 Shards as well. And from here on I can safely buy another Magic Dice and go 6 forward. And 
Whirlwind. Oh, why did I do Slasher? Should have done Whirlwind. Gonna try to close a couple of windows, see if the lag reduces. One of the things that's eating up memory is Skype as well. Just close that off and a bunch of other windows and I can feel it's a little bit better. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm actually gonna do magic dice. Two more purchases remaining. And I'm gonna do 5 instead of 6 to land on the chest because you have a chance to get a magic dice from this. And there it, there it is, another magic dice which is perfect. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would land us over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over there. So we're gonna do one common dice here. Oh, that's a terrible one. And that's a fire guy. And I don't think I have too much resist on fire. Let's, let's put them just in case whatever is left over there just to get that up a little bit 212 better than what I had nothing before and let's change the formation here as well let's get rid of Amazon who is not helping much no don't get rid of me let's get rid of Amazon and get um, let's get Gaia in there Come on, let's move to Triton back because he certainly helped with healing and me and Gaia will be up front. Skills, damage, healing and whatever. And for the Triton we're gonna do healing straight away and then more healing and then Delphic. Okay, we're good to go. Gonna go with one more common dice. That was unfortunate to get a roll of one. But now we got five, so five is good. Five is very good. No, it's still lagging. Alright, the mobs cleaned up. Don't really want to restart the game, so we'll just go with this. All right, and now that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't land on um, on the chest, so I'm gonna do a regular dice again. Six, awesome. The finish is in sight now, so we can we can do better job at counting stuff. So for the magic dice, I have one and I can't buy more or I can buy one more. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six and one, two, three, four, five. So a six and a five, which means um, I'll need one more common dice, I think. Six, which is awesome. And for the last one, I'm going to roll the magic dice and that will complete it, which is great because then I have a whole bunch of dice left and I should be really good, hopefully, with the rewards. I think this was a really good run, so with some additional luck in the rewards, this could be a really good, good run. second wave and there's one more and I can safely just awaken the sills for the last wave because there are no more bosses or anything and the awakening will clean clean them up as well almost got the little hunter left guy finishes him off good job guy
the game was thinking should I give victory or not <laughs> all right now the fighting is done hopefully and I'm gonna go with magic dice 6 and there's 10 common dice left which means 10 rolls so it all worked out pretty good even though I rolled one there so I got 10 spins from the common dice and I got the one attempt so this is all great so we're gonna spin and see what we get give me some good stuff 6 Mara 3 and 600 so not the best but we still got more attempts so with some luck I'll get a bunch of balance is what I need to recover my balance costs also not great the gold is good of course but for me that doesn't have too much value there is some of the balance coming back let's go I need a bunch more though because I spent more a little bit more of the balance coming back still more more, more rolls to go okay good another 180 I might even be break even by now don't remember okay a lot more gold so it looks like a gold spinning round give me the 900 balance don't be greedy 90 come on give me the 900 Still three more to go. Come on, you can give it. Be nice. Be nice. Give me the balance. Two more to go. 90 balance. Good. But it looks like more gold. Okay, good. 180 and 90, and the last spin. Come on, give me some good. Oh, what was that? Did 180 land? Okay, I don't know, but basically adventures ended and you have obtained I'll scroll a little bit like this 900 bound balance, which is I think more than I spent because I managed to get one free magic dice um, So I spent then 180 less and I might have not spent one last one I don't remember I'll go back and, and look at the video again if I spent all the magic dice um, which was allowed per day or I managed to get through 15 Mara good not huge good one magic hammer not awesome uh, 21 sepulchrums not huge but 75 waters and that's mostly coming from 30 30 from the two boss fights so I was really happy that I did that uh, that you know um, it worked out that way that I could do those um, because I didn't compromise any magic dice to, to do that um, and then eight, more than eight, 8 million gold which is nice that they'll go with three clicks I'll use that up for um, in, enchanting, enchanting equipment a bit of glints a bit of moonlights uh, 45 crystal shards and 9 soul seals so nothing amazing uh, in terms of rewards but of course much much more be uh, better than doing the standard way so this is my dizzy mages strategy is definitely good so in, in with this video I definitely um, can describe it and um, recommend it again so we're, we're gonna do we're gonna waste all that gold in a couple of clicks one two three and one two and I don't even have enough gold for the third one so that's I'm trying to do in threes because um, because the the event is with threes. So I'm gonna let's go and grab some gold from the mail leftovers. Let's collect that, and that should be enough. Let's go back to sylph equipment and do the last one here, which fails, but fine. But at least it came with threes and we have here sylph equipment enchant and I can collect a bunch more. So good. And that's for you guys Cloud Adventures Disney Mages strategy. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll do that uh, again I think tomorrow and, and I suggest you guys do that also. Because that strategy is very good and um, sometimes you'll get less balance and sometimes you'll get more balance. It's to do with luck and as well with the rewards. 
sometimes you'll get not so huge um, secondary items like I got this time I think they were not huge but uh, a friend got for example 19 hammers which was really good so um, you can have you know it, it, it differs so you can't judge from one case you gotta do a bunch of cases and, and make your decision from there so that's it you guys I hope this was useful for you uh, please remember to say thanks to this image also uh, maybe in the comments um, and um, please do click on like and subscribe on the video that helps and share with your friends also uh, so that th this image is good word and, and my videos um, also um, are spread and help other people as well so thanks for watching and have a very nice day